Hello students, I am your community medicine faculty at DZNOW. So here I am with a clinical case scenario which is related to our subject. Okay, so here in the question they have given a 5 year old child was brought to your OPD. After examination you have found to the following anthropometric findings. What is your diagnosis about the child? Okay, what are the findings? That height for age is minus 2.5 SD. Okay. Weight for is minus 3.2 and weight for height is minus 1.7. So what is what will be your most likely diagnosis? They have given chronic, acute and chronic, severe acute and the acute malnutrition. So for to solve this type these type of the question, you must remember two things. Okay, what are the two things that plus 2 SD to minus 2 SD any range, anything between plus 2 SD and minus 2 SD will be normal. Okay one thing one this is very important thing anything between plus 2 sd and the minus 2 sd it means what we are saying we are saying mean plus minus 2 sd is normal standard deviation plus minus 2 sd is normal okay so if anything coming between this range will be considered the normal so one criteria you must remember this thing the second is that they have given three things height for age okay they have given weight for age and they have given uh, third one is weight upon weight upon height okay so you just remember that height is will always be a chronic malnutrition indicator why because you cannot reduce the height in acute condition height will always be a chronic uh, criteria so here height for age will be a chronic criteria of the malnutrition okay so here height for age will be a chronic criteria of malnutrition okay now we have two things weight for age and weight for eyes height so weight for height means a person who get a good height who got a good height but after getting a good height patient is having low weight it means previously patient was better he was getting the height but after getting height, uh, due to some circumstances, patient is not getting um, nutri uh, nutrition and patient underwent malnutrition. So it means uh, weight upon height, it will be a criteria of acute malnutrition. Okay. So weight upon height will be a criteria of acute malnutrition. Now weight for age. Weight for age means the what is the weight on the age. So it is a general criteria of the malnutrition weight for age you cannot predict that it will be acute or it will be chronic because sometime conventionally a patient a person is having low weight conventionally by genetically uh, having a low weight for age so it is a general criteria now here uh, after these two things uh, what we will uh, do here you see this is the plus 2 SD and this is a minus 2 SD so anything between these two will be considered normal so in this question what they have given weight upon height that is minus 1.7 SD it means it is a normal condition okay it is not a malnutrition it is a normal condition and I told you what is weight upon height weight upon height is the criteria of acute malnutrition so this patient will not have will not have acute malnutrition okay will not have acute malnutrition next is what they say weight upon age weight upon age is minus 3.2 it means it is below the uh, uh, normal here minus 3 sd minus th below anything below minus 3 sd will be considered as a severe malnutrition and anything between minus 2 SD to minus 3 SD will be con considered mild to moderate. Okay. So here what will happen? Here weight upon age is minus 3.2 SD. But weight upon age, weight for age is a criteria of general malnutrition. We cannot predict it is acute or chronic. Okay. Now third one. Third one is height upon age. Height upon age 2.5 SD in minus. It means it will be under the mild to moderate. So height upon age is the criteria of chronic malnutrition. So this child will be having chronic malnutrition 
under the mild to moderate category so answer will be mild to moderate chronic malnutrition okay now we are going towards the option chronic malnutrition mild to moderate will be our answer chronic malnutrition is option acute so it is not acute because weight for height is minus 1.7 hd so it cannot be acute so this is totally wrong severe acute no no severe acute for severe acute it must be below minus 3 hd and acute malnutrition it is not acute so here option of exclusion will be chronic malnutrition so it is a very good question and you must have detailed knowledge about the malnutrition to solve this type of the question okay so for more content like this like this connect with the dizzy nerve to get your dreams to achieve your heights